Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, you guys did, I have another one page wonder for us today. And this one is made with some really pretty um, fall papers. So let me show you what it does. I put a little extra pocket here on the front, but it has a pocket that opens up like this. And then it flips down and then flips open. Okay, and then depending on how you layer your papers, like I said, you can have some extra pockets because I put a pocket here on the front. There's this side load pocket. I added a pocket on this page. And then um, when it flips down, I did another side load here. This piece I just glued on. And then on the other side though, I made another side load pocket. And then this panel here, I just glued on. But again, I could have, you know, I could add a pocket, whatever. So once you get the actual fold down, you know, you can decorate and then add additional pockets with all the different pocket ideas um, that are out there. So, and if you need some ideas for those, check out my videos, um, you know, on how to make a variety of pockets. But I'm gonna show you how to fold it. And we'll at least decorate part of one. There, There's there's actually a lot of surfaces here um, to play with and decorate and again I didn't I could do the back too I guess um, I didn't um, it, it took me a while I had fun um, but the papers most of the papers that I use to decorate with are from um, my porch prints and it's one of their fall or Thanksgiving kits or something and I'll be sure to link that in the description for you but um yeah super fun this one was also let me tell you guys this was inspired by scrapanology by gina she um did a she showed these and then just a really quick this is how you fold it tutorial and um i got the idea from her and kind of made it my own so thank you gina okay so here we go um this is made with one piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. And we are gonna do just a little bit of scoring. So the first thing you wanna do is on that eight and a half inch side, we are gonna score it at four, let me just double check. I think it's just right in half. So it's four and a quarter, huh? Because it's eight and a half. Okay, four and a quarter. You're gonna score it at four and a quarter inches. Um, and I'll have the measurements, the scoring for you um, in the description, okay? All right, and then you're gonna turn it, and on that 11 inch side, you're gonna score at a half an inch. Then you're going to score at five and three quarter inches, and then at eight and three eighths. And a lot of people get confused when we start doing the eighths and it's just, you know, um, one past eight and a quarter. So it, depending on how your, you know, your scoring is. Um, so think of it as between halfway between a quarter inch and a half an inch. So eight and three eighths is that mark right there. Let me see if I can show that to you guys. It is this one right here, okay? eight and three eighths and this will be in the description for you okay so that's our scoring now I'm going to show you because we're going to be um cutting one section out and if you're holding your paper with that half inch score at the top okay um this is the section that we are going to cut out right here okay and um, I cut the score out. And what I mean by that is I don't leave the little piece of paper where it was folded um, on my project. So this way I, I cut just a tiny bit to the left of the score line and I'm gonna turn it and cut just a smidge to the right of the score line, okay? You're gonna have a piece of paper like that. All right, turn yours back again with the cutout notch to the right. All right, you're gonna go to the, um, when it's turned this way, um, let's see. Well, let's turn it this way. Sorry, guys. 
everybody we've been joking we've got a, a comment thread going on in one of my other videos it's like wait let's start over wait houston we have a problem um lots of funny ways when you start to mess up i'm trying to do the very best way to explain it because what you want is you want to find this line and you want to find this line and i just want to explain to you the best way to find it so we scored this one at a half an inch and then at five and three quarters. Right, that was the measurement I was wanting to remember. So when you're holding your paper with the notched out part here to the left, the very first score line over here is the five and a quarter score line. You are, we are going to cut, don't do it yet. We are gonna cut just up to the um, to this score line where the paper was in half, the four and a quarter. All right, so we've got our notch here. I'm gonna turn it so that I can cut. So now my notch is to the right, and I am just gonna cut a straight line up the score line to the middle, okay? And that's it, all right? Now the next one we're gonna do is on that eight and a half inch side at the bottom, the four and the quarter, we're gonna bring it right up to the, where we scored at eight and three eighths. So it's to right there. So that's where we're gonna cut, okay? Just like we did this one. So we're just gonna cut straight up the score line, all right? I hope that was not confusing. I'm gonna sit here and hold it for a second so you can see it. We cut out this notch, we cut along this score line to the middle, and then at the bottom of your page, the middle score line up just to the next one, all right? That's all the cutting we're gonna do. Now, I printed my paper different shades of orange on both sides, and then I wanna layer, because these are like fall crafts for me. You can use any paper you want. This is also a lightweight 90 pound card stock, if that helps. Okay, now, I think the easiest way to do this part, because this is the folding, is we've been holding it this way with the notch. Now flip it over so your notch is on the left, all right? And then we are gonna fold both of these sections over. So now what you have is the piece that's taller on the bottom layer, and you have these two pieces, okay? Now, on the bottom, this is where we have this cut. This piece is just gonna fold up, just like that. And this is going to make that little pocket that's the side load pocket. Now, I like having a notch so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that so I don't forget to do that. If you don't want a notch, you don't have to. I'm using a one and a half inch circle punch. Okay. All right, now to make this pocket, we are going to glue, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it because then it, the rest of the folding doesn't isn't as confusing. We are gonna add glue here and here to make this pocket close up and side load or along this edge in here. Same thing. Okay, so a thin bead of glue and I'm using my favorite um, Line Co brand PVA. It's, it's in my Amazon storefront if you wanna go take a look under the adhesive section. And I am an Amazon associate, so that means it's an affiliate link and I'll get a few pennies if you choose to make a purchase. It doesn't cost you anything, Amazon pays it. Um, but if you link, if you click on my stuff and you look, and if you do make a purchase, it certainly does help me out, so thank you. <laughs> All right, that was my spiel. All right, now, the, now we're, we're, we have a, something that looks like this. So. Flip that pocket over, and then we're gonna take the whole section and turn it up. And sometimes you have to fiddle with it just a little. Because I cut out the score line, that always looks like it's a little bit off, but it's not, it's okay. And then this one flips over this way. Now, like I said, I did two different shades of orange so you can sort of see the layering. This is where, because you guys know I love to ink, I'm probably gonna go through and ink my edges, and it kind of makes everything start to stand out a little bit. Um, like I said, this is not um, just copy paper weight, but it's a pretty lightweight cardstock. 
I like how it feels, and I definitely like how it feels once I start getting all my layers on here, okay? So we won't spend a lot of time inking, but it does help. It, you, you see the different layers there. Okay, so it opens this way, it opens this way, and then this way. And you can ink as much or as little as you want to. Um, and then we decorate, and again, the sky's the limit. We'll do pockets a little bit differently on this one so you can see what I'm talking about. But um, on our prototype, I put an extra pocket here on the front, which I really like to go with my side load pocket. And then I just decorated this side. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll do some different things. All right, let me see what I have. I went ahead and tore a bunch of the pieces um, from the kit I mentioned. Again, this is my porch prints. I believe I just like their things and I buy their kits. So um, I'm not affiliated with them. I just like their stuff. <laughs> so thank you guys. Um, I was going to see if I could find some pretty things um, to start decorating it with. Um, and again, thinking through where, where I might want more pockets. I also used some book page. Um, this is from Reader's Digest um, to just do some different accents and to help fill in. Um, I think on this one, what I did before is I did another, a pocket that loaded from the top, but I think I'm gonna glue this one down and we'll make this a side load as well. So I'm just gonna jump right in there. Sometimes I lay all the papers out and kind of think through and then sometimes I just jump in. Today I am in the I'm just gonna jump in kind of mood. All right. And we may get my doodad box out and add some little, I've got some little labels that came, came with this pile from my desk. Um, and they're just from random kits that I've been working with and have, um, have laying around. All right. All right, so then it it kind of hides the pumpkin, the pocket does, but I like that. It's just like, oh, what are we what are we gonna see when we flip that open? Let me see if I have a small. Oh, look at all these turkeys! <laughs> I'm not sure I want turkeys on the front. Maybe we'll see. Um, I'm gonna sort of sort through. Here's some pilgrims. Okay, I've got things large. I've got quite a few large pieces. Um, I'm not quite sure. Look at that, that's cute, I love that acorn. How many um, smaller-ish pieces? Again, a lot of the Thanksgiving ones, I was kind of going more for fall. Ooh, that one's cute too with the pumpkin. Um, on on this one, and so it left a lot of, the, I think, more Thanksgiving-themed papers because I only printed, in fact, I didn't even print the whole kit. I only printed like, six or seven of the ephemera sheets. Um, but it was an ephemera kit. That, that was the point of the kit, um, to just to have fun things to put in our journal. So I'm just going to tear us a little bit of book page so that we have some interesting things. And maybe we'll, we'll hand write a word or something to go on here, too. And then I'm going to finger tear so it's not quite as straight. Let's see what we've got. And we'll just start layering. I, um... I like to have lots of layers. And I believe the one that, um, I watched it a while ago, but the one that Gina did on her channel, she did kind of like a little um, scrapbook. She used scrapbook papers and everything was like layered and really, really precise and beautiful. Um, and then I think she was also using it kind of like as a memory keeper because she left sections open for pictures. So that was super fun too. Um, so again, make, make this your own, use any, put anything you like, different styles, that kind of thing on there. I think I need my doodad box. I'm feeling like I want something. Oh, look, it's about trips. Let's see. I think I had printed a bunch of different travel quotes out at one point, and this one said, people don't take trips, trips take people. We'll just stick that on here, why not? Because I like to travel and the color goes and it's it's totally fine there and it kind of gives it a little a little something instead of writing it out um now again you'll notice i did not put an extra pocket on the front of this one 
I just decided to decorate it and we can let's find something to go in this pocket and again it needs to either be something skinny or something that I can um, fold or adjust to fit and I kind of don't want to cut my pumpkins off so I may just um, fold it over and then yeah that fits in there just fine so I think what I'm gonna do is cut it this will be a cute little piece that we can use for something uh, maybe for some journaling space I did not get that very straight sometimes it's easier honestly to tear straight than it is to cut straight all right that'll just be like a little journaling card stuck in here all right, and if I want to, we could put a tab or a piece of ribbon or something on it. I made this one much longer. Why don't we do that? We'll put a little piece of ribbon, and I think what I'm gonna do is center it for when it's, that's a stapler, not a punch. Um, if you didn't know, guys, that was a stapler, not a punch. Um, I'm gonna punch it, though, what, what appears to be closer to the center when it's open, and then our little piece of ribbon will stick out from this Kind of right hand corner it'll be cute I think hopefully we'll see if we like it um, I still have not dug out some more ribbons so that I have some extras here for us to play with in my scrap ribbon bag I need more scrap ribbons actually I don't need more <laughs> what I need to do is just get out some of my ribbons and use them so that then I have some small pieces left. All right, I'm just gonna tie. And I like, you can do a circle if you don't have a slot punch like that, you can use a circle one. Um, but I just like, I don't know, I've been into doing my ribbons this way lately because they tend to lay a little more flat, not quite as bulky. Now, isn't that cute? Trim it off. I like it. All right, let's see how it looks when we stick it back in the pocket. Very sweet. There, now you can see that there's definitely something in there to pique your interest. Okay, so on this one, why don't we turn this one um, into a pocket on this side? And then we'll have some things sticking out of the top. So this is almost the right size. Um, and I don't want to cover up my little thumb notch there, so I'm just trimming this off just a little bit. But I'll just cut it on this dark line, and we'll re-ink it, and that way we won't, we are, we're putting it on the backing of orange, so I'm just cutting off the orange that was around the edge there. Yep, yeah, made it small enough. All right, add a little more ink, and then this is just gonna be a simple top load pocket. So we'll just add glue to the three sides. And I plan to just put some little tiny things in here. And again, I don't wanna glue my, glue my little side load pocket closed. Okay, so, you know, if you don't wanna use it as a pocket, you don't have to, but since I left it open, we can. So we have options, you know, I like having options and something pretty wide will fit in there. Now this isn't backed on the other side. So if I wanna use this, you know, I don't really like how that looks, but if I wanna layer it in there, I will probably cover the back. But I'm gonna leave that there just like that for right now. And since we're on the video to save time, we'll just keep going. All right, so let's do some different types of pockets or tuck spots that would work ooh, with this journal. Um, I don't know, I don't think on camera you can see the mess that I have right now, but um, I do have a mess, I have a mess. All right, I'm gonna turn her into a belly band. Let's do it, right? Or a side tuck, like this way. That'd be cute, I think so. It covered up a little bit of the image, but it's all right. And the reality is I can fold it over and just glue it all down, or I could tear this off and I might be able to use that strip for something else later. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna 
tear it really quick. We'll have that for maybe a tab or something later. And let's turn her into a little pocket. Now, if I glue her to this side and we load this way, I have to be really careful what fits in. If we put her this way and something hangs out, you know, we're all right. Because of the way she's holding her turkey and the platter, I like her to this side. So I'm going to just know I'll be a little limited in what I can put in this pocket, and that's okay. All right. Cute. Let me let that dry and then we'll find something to put in there. Oh gosh, it's probably confusing when you have that sitting right there. All right, now for this piece, let's do, let's do kind of a, um, we have it loading this way. What do we want? That doesn't work. The idea I have is to do a little bit of a corner pocket. Um, and everything I'm picking up wants to orient to this side. Let me see if I can find an image that will work. Ooh, this fun leaf will. Um, I know this is not a maple leaf. I don't know if somebody knows what kind of leaf this is that I'm cutting out, let me know. I'm curious. My grandmother, Opal, would have been able to tell me um, what kind of leaf it is. Okay, cute. So now I'm just gonna add glue to the two straight sides. And it's a take on, you know, just an angled pocket, but I decided to make it a little more organic and use the leaf to kind of guide me. I think that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna let these dry and we'll tuck something in there in a minute. Um, <laughs> look at that postcard with the pumpkin pie. I think it's cute. I like that leaf. I kind of wanna use this both of these. I like this acorn. I think on this one, I'm just going to, um, maybe we'll add some kind of, maybe a, a, a little bow with some twine. And then I think I'm just going to glue it down. I like um, sometimes, you know, not everything has to be a pocket, even though I'm in the, you can't have too many pockets club. <laughs> um, but it also, you know, it gives it some nice structure. Normally I would just put a blob of glue and let that dry, but I'm gonna use one of these glue dots that I don't have to wait to dry and it won't go anywhere. And that way it won't stick and I can keep working on my layers. All right, now if I wanted to, I could layer some book page under there and fill in some more of that space. But again, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, just, just to get you hopefully kind of going with some ideas. I'm going to do it to the, orient it kind of to the left and maybe we will look in the doodad box and put something with it. Here's some fall leaves. Oh, those are pretty bright. I think I'll wait on those. I, I just saw a little bird. I don't know. It's really fuzzy. I don't know where that came from. I'm not gonna use that. I keep putting it back in here and probably every time I pick it up, I probably say the same thing like, why is that so fuzzy? I am gonna cut out one of these brown tabs. Please don't ask me what kit this came from. Once things end up in the doodad box, unfortunately, I can't always remember their origins. Um, I'm thinking about, you guys, this is something you can let me know if you're interested. I'm thinking about doing a tutorial about making like um, a folder that to help us store all of our little pieces in. I know some other people have done videos on that, but I was just thinking it would be fun. We could make one of those together too. And then whether it's from your scrapbook paper kits or your digital kits when you have extras, not that the doodad box doesn't work because I think it works great, but sometimes it's fun to just have them in, in all the little pockets and you can just open it up like a notebook. And if you're really organized, you could even, um, do it by kit or by color or like by label, by stamp, by image, you know, something like that. I have to use this pumpkin. I love it. And we'll make this one side load this way. Okay. So I'm going to hold it. I want it to be open. 
So leave me a comment and let me know if that's something y'all would like to see me make a video on as like an ephemera folder or something. Not just like a holder, like I do a lot of those, like ephemera pockets, but I'm talking about more of a, a folder or a notebook or um, something like that. Like a trapper keeper, if you're a kid of the 80s like I was, it won't be a trapper keeper, guys. I'm not that talented. But something, you know, to, to keep our extra pieces in. Okay, um, I am not going to spend a lot of time, you know, making things to go in our pockets, but I definitely want to put some things in our pockets. So, it's just that one's a little tall. Um, look at the turkey, guys. That's so funny. Okay, we'll put a turkey there. I've got this one, and I need something here. And I may want a decoration or something. Let's see how this is looking. It's very sweet. Oh, and I have this pocket here that needs that needs a treasure. They all need treasures. Um, well, the turkeys go. The turkeys go. They probably need to be backed too, but I'll just stick it in there for now. That's so fun. Funny. Um, and then for this last pocket. Ooh, I liked this piece too. It's upside down. Maybe we'll put... They're kind of the exact same height. I'll just stuff them like that. What to put here? Um, another leaf would fit. It might get lost in there, but we'll just fix that by adding a piece of ribbon on the side. I was gonna staple it, and then I just realized if I do it this way, it won't. It won't get lost in that pocket because it, it's not going to be super bulky but it should keep it from sliding all the way down in that pocket and I definitely I think this is a project that needs some more ribbons don't you think <laughs> okay um I think something here would be fun or maybe at the top to decorate uh, like a little cluster or something. I don't know. I haven't really thought that through. And maybe we'll do this just so that we have a little decoration at the top. It's not going to close anything up. I'm just going to staple this one on. So just think it'll, I don't know. Something's telling me it's going to look great if I do that. So let's see if I can hold my stapler. All right, you guys will have to let me know if you liked that last little ribbon. It goes like that, right? Like this. So let's make sure I did it correctly. Yep. All right. Oh, guys. Yep, yep. That really, that really nailed it for me. Okay, so another one-page wonder. It opens this way. We got pockets. We've got pockets. Flips down. We've got a couple of interactive pockets here, and then it opens one more time. That is just a tab. It kind of makes it look like there's a pocket, and we have an item there. So again, you can do pockets on every page. You could just collage. You could leave journaling spaces. It still stays pretty thin. I've got some ribbons and a lot of layers, and so it would um, you know, be able to go in the mail. It could be stuffed inside a large journal pocket um, or clipped in a journal. It's a great standalone item too, I think. All right, you can put happy birthday on here or I'm thinking about you and turn it into a alternative greeting card. So the sky's the limit. I hope you guys like it. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Help me out. Um, I appreciate it. And I hope everybody has a great day.